that we have 250 delegates from China this year. Among the total number was, I think was 13,500. So uh, if you purely looking at this number, actually Chinese delegate definitely is underrepresented. Uh, but if you walk around the street and restaurant, you definitely see more people coming from Japan, Korea, you know, India. The most talented people in the world come gathering in Cannes, sharing creative ideas, sharing best practice, sharing about the next generation thoughts. And I think um, China company will benefit a lot from those information and thinking what's actually applicable to China. I see China as nothing but upside opportunity. Right? So it comes with its challenges, but for us it's really more about opportunity. China has the biggest consumer base. That's the number one purely from the population point of view. And then if you look at the, uh, the consumption power from the dollars point of view, it's also going up very fast in the past several years, or say, let's say decades. It's actually, it's the largest population <laughs> country in the world. And um, speaking of the high penetration of internet, high penetration of mobile users, it's inevitable the most critical uh, country would be for marketing to, to think about how can I have a role there? How can I engage with the consumer there? Whether from China perspective or from global perspective. That's what we're finding right now is that because of the digital landscape, we're better able to reach more people with our ideas and our messages and to engage them in our brands. We're doing a lot of uh, native advertising, so creating content solutions for our uh, advertisers is really part of our business model. How I can leverage different data across different de devices to understand what is actually that the moments with that specific consumer's mind. What do they want and what do they want to buy and what are they interested in. And with data, with technology in place, I think we are in better position to understand more about their needs instead of like having just a one-way dialogue with the consumers. We had the advantage of some uh, data that was moving into the rearview mirror um, and created hindsight for us, and that was around the fact that uh, social and mobile were becoming dominant forces in the, both the discovery and then the dissemination of great content, right? So Quartz, born in 2012, uh, was built not only digitally first, but mobile first. I think today, because the people are exposed to many, many information from different devices, it's not just about TV, it's not just about pre media, it's not just about your desktop, it's actually about all the devices. I would say that the platforms are only as good as the ideas that, that generate the content that will then engage consumers. The way that works for brands was not to replicate the commoditized units, banners and boxes and hyperlinks that have not seemed to serve the industry or readers very well, but instead to try to do more meaningful, um, high-impact advertising. We look at big data, we look at analytical, we look at different ad technology, because, because we believe in the future all those will be integrated. Only you have all those things adding together, you'll be able to provide a solution. I'm really clear about don't get enamored with the technology. The platforms are amazing and the reach is amazing, but if, if we don't provide content, that is rooted in human insight and um, really creative, then we're not gonna accomplish our goals.